Good morning, folks. Here's the last day on our star. Another relatively calm one, and the Earth-facing solar quiet continues. That was also the topic of last night's Deeper Look episode. The lone eruption we could see on SDO came off the incoming northern limb as plasma and magnetic fields expanded and erupted out into space. This eruption will not come anywhere near our planet. Speaking of the solar quiet, it's not good to see this when you're in the hospital, and it's about the same when it's the sun. Flatlined, negative polarity without mixing dominates the lone Earth-facing sunspot group. Three days of solar wind reveal some density jolts with maintained plasma speed and temperature. The electron flux hits the floor with those denser proton waves, but thus far, Earth's magnetic shield is solid. Today, we are seeing coronal holes north and south. We can only hope that the larger earthquakes have settled down and released all their pressure because IMF is positive and will slowly start disconnecting from the departing negative opening, powerful as can be. The last day's top earthquakes was a swarm along the Indonesian subduction zone, also extending east to near Vanuatu. Top link today is to a video and article by the NRAO, zooming in on stellar formation zones where red shows carbon monoxide surrounding regions with incredible formation rates in yellow. The article focuses on the most dense and actively forming areas. This is the sort of thing where they've been able to zoom in further in the past and see the formation on strings equidistant apart from one another, seemingly on a Birkeland current. Let's come to the Pacific where the waves made news yesterday as a 40-foot boat got smacked by a huge wave sending people flying into the water. That minor quake swarm at the volcano continued as well. We're in the South Atlantic now watching the precipitable water hug the convergence off an Antarctic low and create flood conditions way up at the coastline of South America, while something similar can be seen in the Indian Ocean wrapping back from the low up and around to make landfall. We'll shift right to Australia because we have a cyclone formation alert. It is somewhat weak and will mostly be a rain event, but now we'll have wind warnings as well. South of that, a convergence line will slowly shift to the southeast corner to complement the other precipitation zones in purple to the north. Top thing catching our eye in the western world is the horrid winter storm just exiting land now. Just when you thought you couldn't get more snow, it came. And, of course, there is more coming. The convergence line extending here will soon shift to the northeast along that exact same line, bringing all this mess up with it. And as we head back east, we caught caught in this overnight just outside Memphis. I gotta tell you, I can't imagine what another day and night of this same thing is going to do here. Last but not least, major low in the North Atlantic convergence line will make it to the coast and a bit beyond tonight pulling up the precipitable water overlay, will show moisture running up that line from the south. That's where my top alerts for the region are at the moment. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.20 a.m. Central. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.